Hi everyone and welcome back to the Analog Wonderland YouTube channel. My name is Emma and I'm the marketing assistant here at Analog Wonderland and today I'm here to talk to you about a fairly new film on the scene and one that is perfect for all you cat lovers out there and that is Kiki Pan 320. Whether you are new to film photography or a long-time analogue enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews, to how-to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! Kiki Pan 320 is a relatively new film release. It was launched last year in October 2022. It is a traditional black and white panchromatic film that was created by our friends in Hong Kong at camera film photo and the inspiration from the film's name actually comes from the team in Hong Kong who named this film after their cat Kiki. So the film was designed in Hong Kong but it's been manufactured in Germany with all its catastic packaging. I mean the design of this film is absolutely incredible and I think branding these days is really something that can sell you on a film and obviously it's cat themed. It's anatomically correct we start with the face we've got the paws the ears and the tail on the top the little paw pads and then um, this lovely area too everything's included but it, it's just adorable and just a really fun novelty film I think if you are someone who collects all your canisters especially or turns them into key rings or anything like that this is a really fun one for you to add to your collection We've seen a bit of a trend in cat films lately. Um, we've had this one and we also did a review on the Cat Labs film. So who knows, maybe there's another one coming soon. But if you are a cat lover, there are a plenty of options out there for you now. It is a panchromatic film, meaning it is sensitive to all wavelengths of visible light. The sample photos that we've seen show a lovely character to this film, lots of visible grain, and a good amount of contrast in the images too. The film will provide a fantastic atmosphere and just fun. I mean, look at that. It has a slightly, maybe unusual film speed of ISO 320. I shot this film in my Olympus OM-1, which actually has this ISO setting, but um, a lot of manual cameras maybe won't. And from what I've seen in the reviews, a lot of our customers shot this at 400, so pushed it ever so slightly and still got wonderful results. Camera Film Photo described this film as having large grain, making it ideal for street photography or travel photography. It produces very sharp images whilst still being unique. I had a go at shooting this film recently. I took it to a few places. I did some shots in London when it was a bit rainy and overcast. I also did some shots in the garden of, of the flowers and, and some close-ups, sort of more wildlife photography. And then of course I took some photos of my cats too because how could I not? My cats are called Bigsy and Buster and they both look beautiful on this film. I think this film has a really nice contrast to it without being overpowering. It's just, you know, a nice level of strong blacks was having a great tonal range and I could really see this in the shots I took in the garden where there's lots of leaves and sort of slightly different shades and tones in the greens and you could really see that range going across the photographs. I did take a few photos indoors as well. I popped into a little thrift shop in Covent Garden and I was impressed with how this film held up. Even without a flash I still managed to get some great shots and a slightly lower shutter speed. There is definitely some noticeable grain, but personally I love grain. I think it just adds a nice character and you know shows that you've taken your photo on film, which I love the look of. But again, I don't think the grain is overpowering. I think it adds a really nice atmosphere to your images. I did take some photos on a very miserable day in London. It was very rainy and grey, but I think this film still really cut through that weather. The images weren't flat at all and I still had some nice contrast throughout the photographs that I took. We've got a few reviews on our website from customers who've shot this film, a lot of them commenting on the fun packaging that this is a really fun novelty collector's film that they'll definitely be hanging on to. Some tips from our customers, they encourage you to shoot this in contrasty light to make the most of this film. They say it's got very cute packaging, a bit of a novelty perhaps, but definitely a fun one to add to your collection. 
So will we be seeing more cat themed films soon? Who knows? Have we spotted a trend in the film market? Only time will tell. <laughs> In the meantime, please give this film a go and let us know how you like it. I mean, if the packaging doesn't sell you on it, I don't know what will. Even the little gold embossing is amazing. And on the inside, it's got loads of cats as well playing and having fun. The canister's also really cute and will make such a cute key ring or, or just something to put on your shelf. There's a lot of fun you could have with this film. You can even see on the packaging and these little paw prints, they've um, put some ISO indicators which just suggests that the camera film photo guys do encourage you to push and experiment with this film. They've got it going all the way up from 320 to 1280 ISO and a little blank paw print as well if you want to experiment further. So do shoot this film, have fun, go and hunt down some cats in your local area to take pictures of. Um, I'm really pleased with the pictures of, I got of my cats on this. Definitely a fun film, just adorable packaging. I'm obsessed with the just cuteness of this film. Amazing job to the guys at Camera Film Photo. Let us know if you've shot it, let us know how you found this film. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and happy shooting.